If you are working in an hazard reporting company or in a public alerting institute, you may have noticed that there are many different broadcasting systems out there with no standard alerting format. So it can be difficult to warn all people in danger or it is even impossible to reach the maximum spread of alerting information national or international wide. Public-private collaborative effort requires decades to implement and huge ongoing investments in specialized technology for broadcasting warnings but without a standard alert format. It was particularly impossible to implement all hazards, all media, public alerting. From local communities to entire nations, societies everywhere have a patchwork of specialized systems. This patchwork approach is wasteful. It may also be dangerous if people miss out on alerts they could have gotten, get alerts that are not really intent for them, or get confused alerts that are difficult to corroborate. This is where CAP comes into play. But what is CAP? The common alerting protocol, short CAP, were created by the company named OASIS and is a standard which can act as transmission protocol for all reporting systems to the broadcasting systems. Now that we have the CAP standard, alerting authorities can use fairly simple tools to get critical messages to affected people, wherever they are and whatever they are doing. CAP can supplement or replace single purpose interfaces between alert sources and dissemination media. So CAP can be viewed as a kind of universal adapter for alert messages. A CAP alert message sender can activate multiple alerting systems with a single input, reducing the cost and complexity of notifying many alerting systems. People do not typically act on the first alert signal, but begin looking for confirmation. Only when convinced that the alert is not a false alarm will people act. CAP helps people get exact corroboration of alerts coming from multiple channels. Rather than being defined for a particular communication technology, CAP defines a digital message format applicable to all technologies. So what does the philosophy of the standard say? First of all, foremost, the GAP alert message should provide a means for interoperable exchange of alerts and notification among all kinds of emergency information systems as well as completeness. The GAP alert message format should provide for all the elements of an effective public warning message. Simple implementation. The design should not place undue burdens of complexity on technical implementers. Multi-use format. One message scheme supports multiple message types, like alert, update, cancellations, acknowledgement or error messages, in various applications, actual, exercise, test and system messages. Familiarity. The data elements and code values should be meaningful to warning organizers and non-expert recipients. Interdisciplinary and international utility. The design should allow a broad range of applications in public safety and emergency management and allied applications and should be applicable worldwide. So what is behind CAP? First of all, it's a well-formatted XML and is separated in an alert info resource and area segments. The alert part provides the basic information about the current message, its purpose, its source, its status, its unique identifier for the current message. The info part describes an event in terms of its urgency, severity and certainty, as well as human readable information. The resource part provides optional reference to additional information. The area part describes the geographic area to which the alert applies. CAP is already an international standard and is as example used by the EU project Meteolam as import and export from reporting authorities to alerting systems. You can learn more about CAP by testing out our open source project on GitHub, the CAP PHP library.